Hello everyone. In this video I will show you my magnet view film and this is an improved version of it. So what I have done here is I will show you the whole piece. I have glued it onto a contraption where I have my LED strip around and uh, the key aspect of getting a better picture was getting the distance between the LED strip and the magnet view film a bit better. So the right distance between it was important. And now I will just show you um, different magnets and magnet arrays under this kind of viewing film. And as you can see here I have a small ring magnet and when I place it underneath you can see the, these white lines with spacing between where there is no light and if I put it right on top of it you will see a small ring inside this is like a torus or a donut right inside of the middle of the ring magnet and also the same on the outside and I will turn the magnet a bit so yeah you get a really good 3D holographic image from the magnetic and the dielectric field of this magnet and basically what you can see here is the pressure mediation between these two fields and they form a certain geometry this pressure mediation that is everywhere the same in nature and as you can see it's this is viewed from the side like this it always wants to form a toroidal field and a hyperboloid field which are the two field geometries of the yeah of the universe as you could say and together these two fields make up a sphere and viewed like this from above and if I tilt the magnet a bit you can see yeah, it almost looks like if you look into a black hole if you have seen the new high resolution images of black holes I hope you can see this quite well on the camera but I think it should be quite good so for next piece I have here my ring magnet this is a ferrite ring magnet and on top of this there is a Halberg array and I will show you what the field of this looks like as you can see the field geometry where these two fields interfere this is like an 8 shape or an infinite sign and you can see this is made up of also a lot of white lines each line represents one of the LEDs that's in the strip around and because we have these multiple LED lights or multiple light sources around we get a really good holographic or three-dimensional view of this field as you can see if I tilt it around a bit so if I get really close to it you will see the magnets of the Halberg array this would be the blue dots in the middle or in a ring shape around this white lines and if I get a bit further away from it yeah 
you will be able to see this interference lines very well and if I tilt the whole magnet like this you can see the magnetic and dielectric field of the whole ferrite magnet itself it also shows the same geometry like all the other magnets do so next magnet array will be a quadrupolar magnet these are just four magnets aligned 90 degrees apart from each other this is what the field of it looks like as you can see these fields always seek the easiest geometry for their pressure mediation it's all about pressures of the fields and how they want to form and they always form in a certain geometry that is always the same and yeah this field viewer is the most advanced I know besides the ferrocell to yeah, view the fields really good in a three-dimensional way so this is viewed from the side like this and you can see it the field of this magnet that is viewed here wraps in a elliptical way because it is influenced by the others around it if I turn it you will see on all four sides it looks the same and then I will turn it around again and then for my next array these are just four small ring or disc magnets and together they form this kind of field and if I rotate it a bit and tilt it a bit you can also see this interference lines these white lines with spacings in between where there's no light And this is where the, the interference between the magnetic and the dielectric field is. I just turned the magnets around a bit and tilted. So, yeah, you will get a good idea of what the field geometry looks like. This is when I place it directly onto the viewing film. If I move it away a bit, like this, you will see a real nice 3D image. And let's turn it to the side, just like this. Then you will get an image like this. So, this is how it looks like when four magnets come together and they do form a fi a one field of themselves. This is how the pressure mediation between these fields looks like. And now for the last array that I will show you today you have already seen this in previous videos of mine this is also in the middle a quadrupolar magnet and on the sides we have two ring magnets 
that are compressing the field of the quadruple magnet bit and it will give you an image like this you will also be able to see this these white lines again so everywhere where you have the colored parts like the bluish black or green as where you have a lot of field flux or high gauss reading the darker the color is the higher the gauss reading and the lighter the color the weaker the gauss reading of course and this gives you also a bit of an idea where which field lies and these white lines and the spacings in between where is no light is basically where the interference between the magnetic and dielectric field is yeah and like this you can see a real nice donut shape on top of this If I tilt it again 90 degrees, you will get this image again. And I will tilt it again a bit. Very interesting field array. switch back to my ring magnet again small whoops small neodymium magnet because I think with this one it is just best to view the general field geometry of a magnet itself as you can see when I view it from the side you got your spherical field because together these two fields the magnetic and the dielectric they always form a sphere and the middle where the white lines are is where the plane of inertia is viewed like this looks exactly like some galaxies do look like because yeah as I said before everywhere in nature all fields seek the easiest geometry for pressure mediation between these two fields and this is actually what you see here if I turn it around a bit very interesting I think so yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching and goodbye